Okay, so let me go through a few ways to get a better workflow as you're working in these projects, things to look out for, and how to better uh, optimize your render. Because these projects can get quite uh, beefy with the render times. Specifically, uh, a couple projects just to keep in mind. Uh, if I go into the Grindhouse packs, again, if, we, if you are inside the full Grindhouse project... So if you go into the folder here, uh, the couple projects that are going to take up more render time the most is number uh, is number six, Poster Smash, as well as the Credit Strip. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, pre-comps within pre-comps, uh, a lot going on within those projects that kind of hog up a lot of render time. But um, there's a few things we can do. For one, as you're working, I think it's always wise to make sure... Uh, you go to view resolution and make sure in this case you're working at a quarter. It's just going to speed up your, your workflow a little bit better. Secondly, if we go into uh, any of our projects, let's say specifically for now, I'm just going to go into my burnout pack and I'm going to double click. And as this example, I'm just going to go into burnout pack into. So if I double click into burn. Uh, burnout comp one you're gonna see these mats all set as pre comps and you know you can easily shut off these effect mats okay because as you're working so I'm just gonna go in the renders folder for a second and you're gonna see that in the case of the full grindhouse I gave you render options for each individual project as well as the full grindhouse timeline and each one's going to have a 1080p, 720p, and a render booster. Now, specifically, what this render booster is, if I double-click on it, you're going to get this note. Okay, and it says render booster. It's just reminding you that this note that you see is not going to render with your footage, so you don't have to worry about it. Now, in this case, I've taken the 1080p comp and placed it inside, inside a 4K comp. Okay, so now what you're going to do is simply go through your same render process. But what we want to do in this case, if you're using the render booster, because remember it's in 4K, you don't want to render out the 4K. You, you probably want to render out the 1080p realistically. In our render booster, we're simply now going to go up to composition, make movie, save your movie wherever you like. And before you hit the render, you're going to want to switch this 4K back into 1080p. So we're simply going to go into our render settings here. We're going to click on best settings. And you can see the size that this comp is in. You're not going to want to render that out. So remember that. You're going to want to change the resolution from full to half. And that's going to bring us back to a 10, uh, 1920 by 1080 also, if you do a third, that's going to bring you to a traditional 720p. Now, when you're setting up your system for render, just a couple tips. Uh, the first tip is the After Effects secret. The After Effects secret is easy to perform, and all you have to do is hold your shift button down on your keyboard, keep it held down, and as you have that shift held down, Go up top to After Effects, and you want to go into your Preferences category. And going to hit the General for a second. And with that held down, you now see an option down here called Secret. Now, you're only going to see this again if you hold your Shift button down. You can, of course, once you reach this box, take, off, take your finger off the uh, Shift button. Uh, however, what you want to do is, in highlighting the Secret, especially with projects that are are this heavy, uh, I do find it wise that you probably will run into less render issues with your systems because everybody's system's a bit different. Uh, in this case, this is an older uh, Mac Pro that I'm on, so it has 32 gigs of RAM, but it's uh, an older 2008 Mac Pro. And uh, with the secret, we can just highlight the secret and check on here, disable layer cache, and purge every one frame. and hit OK, and that's it. Now, secondly, going back to our After Effects preferences, 
and we're going to go to general for a second. Let me go down for a second to memory and multiprocessing. And with the mem uh, memory and multiprocessing, it's going to show you how much RAM you have installed. And of course, the more RAM you have in your system, the better. However, do note that down below here, there is a category called After Effects Multiprocess. You're going to want to check that on. Okay. And it's going to show you the, uh, the processing cores that you have on that system. And, you know, allow for a higher gigabit of RAM. In this case, I would switch it to three. And that's it. And, and, and these would be, for the most part, for most systems, what you want to select.